Hi everyone, this is Chris Morelia from Transformative EdTech Channel. And today our focus is going to be on Canvas. So you can VAS, otherwise we translate that. You can and VAS meaning go in Spanish, so you can go. So we want to go into Canvas and we want to be able to use the Google LTI tool with a rubric. So let's see where we can go. So we're, as I said, we're going to be focusing on using the Canvas LTIs with the Canvas rubric and outcomes. So typically when you do this, you cannot see it as a teacher. You have to go through some steps to actually put the rubric in. And once you do that, you can't find it. So we begin with a, um, an assignment. We want to have the assignment first. And then after we have our assignment, we want to set up outcomes. For this particular rubric one, we are going to be focusing on setting up outcomes. Outcomes are good to have, especially if you use them consistently throughout the semester or year. And that way it allows you to evaluate students on particular skill sets. And once again, we're going to focus on history skill sets. So we want to focus on getting those outcomes set up first. And then we're going to be creating a rubric that will go along with the assignment. And then we'll push out the assignment. So traditionally, when I set up the assignment, I'm going to be using the Google LTI the Drive Cloud Assignment. And I'm going to be looking for a specific assignment here. And that assignment will be focusing on this one right here. Now, one of the things that's going to happen is you will see, I find, once I find the assignment and I save it, typically when you save an assignment, you can put a rubric in the assignment. Now you can see right here, there's no option for me to do that rubric. So let's take a look at how we can fix that. So I'm gonna go back into the assignment and I'm going to change this external tool. Um, I'm just gonna put it to something else. I'm going to, uh, let's make it a file upload, okay? So once I've done that and I save it, you'll notice that I have a rubric that I have assigned to it. Now that rubric only shows up when I do that particular change. Now what I have to do is go back and you notice this rubric, I've also have the criteria, I have the outcomes, which is, like I said, totally cool for Canvas. So I have to go back here and I'm going to change this assignment so that it now reflects a the Google LTI tool. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna find the assignment again going to put it here. Remember, I'm going to use my, my Newzilla assignment. Put it in here. Now, once it's here and I save it, I should now have the rubric. And once again, as a teacher, you're not going to be able to. So once I go into that speed grader, I click on speed grader, I will have the rubric available it's for myself as a teacher. Now the students are going to have the rubric available and I simply do this right here. And I just click the rubric that I've selected and you can see that I do have it and I can apply this for using the grading for this particular assignment. So that's a quick tip on Canvas, how to use the Google LTI tools with Canvas and using rubrics and outcomes.